We are Gerard and Kelly. My name is Brennan Gerard and this is Ryan Kelly. And this is our show Clockwork, on view at Pioneer Works through July 1st. This exhibition revolves around an ongoing project of ours called Modern Living, which takes place at modernist houses. Uh, we begin the project as site-specific performances, and then we return to make a video. And this show is the New York City premiere of the video, which is right behind us playing, uh, Schindler Glass, which was shot on location at the Schindler House in West Hollywood, considered by many to be the first modern house in the world, and Philip Johnson's iconic glass house in New Canaan, Connecticut. One of the challenges of making this exhibition in this space of Pioneer Works is that this is not a modernist architecture. It's pre-modern. It, this space was built in 1860 for the manufacture of, of iron works and machines. The, our process here and our, our residency began with moments of deep listening and observing. And one of the things we observe that in this space every day between the hours of 4 and 7 p.m. there is always already this light show that comes in through the windows and moves very quickly across the floor, the walls. So this was kind of the, for us, the hidden choreography of Pioneer Works as a site, as a site of architecture and its interplay with, with nature and with light from the sun. So this work is titled The Family is a System of Regeneration. There are three trifold screens spread throughout the show and this diagrammatic painting that you see extends across the three trifolds. It is actually the performance score for the first performance of our ongoing project Modern Living, which took place at the Schindler House in Los Angeles. It's a time code for the 60-minute performance that continued to regenerate or loop uh, over the course of several days. There were nine dancers in that performance, each in a two-tone monochrome, so the colors coordinate to the colors of the costumes that each dancer was wearing. So if you follow it carefully, you can see which dancers were interacting with other dancers at any moment in the course of the performance. This work is a sculpture um, called Skin and Bones, and it is made entirely of glass, steel, and two subwoofers. Two subwoofers hold up and buttress uh, a pane of glass. That pane of glass is the dimensions of the Farnsworth House in Plano, Illinois, which was designed by Mies van der Rohe for the physician and the poet Edith Farnsworth. The subwoofers play back a field recording of the Fox River, which is next to the Farnsworth House and occasionally floods the house and is flooding more regularly with climate change. So the sound of the Fox River in the recording is what makes the glass tremble and move. This work is titled Private, and it is the plan of Philip Johnson's glass house etched on a sheet of glass that sits on top of a letter from Johnson's friend, the founder of New York City Ballet, Lincoln Kirsten. Kirsten is acknowledging his friend Philip Johnson's avowed fascist politics in the 1930s, also claiming that Johnson in years since made atonement for those deplorable po politics. Uh, the piece is called Private because both Kirsten and Johnson are privates in the US Army and Kirsten refers to Johnson as private. But we were also interested in how the other shared experience between Kirsten and Johnson was their closeted sexualities. And so private also refers to that um, open secret. So this work is called Light Studies and it is a, a grid of 12 renders of the light in this space at 4.33 p.m. on the first day of every month. So it functions both as a kind of clock and a calendar. We chose the 433 time as an homage to John Cage 
and his radical work, 4 minutes 33 seconds. He happened to have been a, a guest at the Schindler House in uh, Los Angeles where our project Modern Living began. So these are a grid of 12 silk screens um, of this space and the performance that is always already taking place here at Pioneer Works.